The internet is full of them, videos of cat owners trying to give their pet a bath, often with hilarious consequences. These viral videos never fail to make us laugh, but there's one party that is not amused, the cats. You can see how these furry creatures literally try to claw their way out of the bathroom or kitchen sink when their owners try to bait them. While there are a few exceptions, most of the cats in those baiting videos obviously don't like the idea of getting wet. This reinforces the age-old belief that cats hate water. But why do they? We have got the answer, of course. But first, please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. It will inspire us further to create more informative and fun videos just for you. We have heard of the saying that water and oil don't mix. But for a lot of cat lovers all over the world, it could very well be cats and water don't mix. While a cat could be seen playing with water dripping from a faucet and will not hesitate to drink from a cup or even a water fountain, it's another thing trying to give them a bath. Most probably, they will fight tooth and nail just to avoid it. Cat experts have finally pinpointed several reasons why this animal has a natural aversion to getting totally wet. For one, it's simply in the cat's genes. These animals, and most of the species that include tigers and lions, descended from the African wildcat. This creature first appeared more than 12 million years ago in the African savanna. A dry, air place that didn't get much rain and offered no river or ocean experience. So the animal evolved without much encounter with water, except for drinking. It's also probably the reason why cats, in general, are such good self-groomers, as their ancestors saw no need to take a plunge into a pool of water that was hard to come by to begin with just to clean itself. And so it managed by licking itself up. For another, cats don't like the extra weight that their drench forgives them. Imagine having a soaking wet towel or blanket draped on your shoulder. It's most uncomfortable, to say the least. For cats, which are known for their agility and quick movements, wet fur could spell the difference between safety and harm. And with most tap water being chemically treated to kill off germs and other microorganisms, it probably smells bad for cats, which are also known for their sensitive nose. Add in the shampoo or the soap with its own fragrance that cats might not actually like and you have ignited a bad time revolt. A bad experience with water when the cat was just a kitten would also explain its aversion to being bathed as an adult. Stressful episodes tend to stick to anyone's memory and this is carried well into adulthood. So that's why cats hate water. Fortunately, because most cats are sticklers to cleanliness, it's not always that you would need them to give a bath. It happens that they get into stinky situations, and that is when a bath is in order. For parents know too well how painful that could be for them being scratched and bitten all throughout the baiting process. To minimize the scratches and the bites, veterinarians suggest trimming the cat's nails on all paws a day or two before the bath session. Doing it in advance prevents the cat from sensing that it is about to get a bath and making it hard for you to get them to the bathroom or the kitchen sink. Speaking of timing, if you have a younger cat, it's better to tire them out with vigorous play right before bath time. They won't have much energy to resist. If it's an older cat that you have, set the bath time immediately after it wakes up from a nap. The animal will still be sleepy and therefore calmer. We hope you have found this latest episode of AHA, so that's why quite informative. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. We would really appreciate your feedback. Don't forget to like it and to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.